Hi guys, thanks so much for stopping by the channel. This is gonna be kind of a throwback to the old way that I used to do my component videos, where I'll show you the items that equal the components, and then we'll do a couple examples of those outfits, and I'll show you the tips and tricks at the end. So I'm on the female character here, just to show you the six items that equal the scuba suit goggles for the male character. I'm not actually gonna do the component transfer glitch here for the male character, I just wanna show you these items. They'll also be linked in the description with a component list that will be updated, as well as in the pinned comment. So you will need to know how to do a component transfer glitch to get these scuba suit goggles. The playlist for that, again, is in the description, and you can use whatever method works for you. So the six goggles here that are on the female character that equal the scuba suit goggles on the male are under the sports glasses. So you've got the beige equals black. The blue outlaw goggles equal the white scuba suit goggles. The oxblood outlaw equal the blue scuba suit goggles. The mono outlaw equals the red scuba suit goggles. The black outlaw equals the cyan scuba suit goggles. And the tan outlaw equals the lime scuba suit goggles. So if you're curious what the scuba suit goggles are, what they look like, just head to the counter of any clothing store, go under scuba suit, and those names correlate with the names of the scuba suits. So I'm actually gonna be showing you some outfits and giving you the tips and tricks that I promised by doing the component transfer glitch from the male to the female. And to get the components for the scuba goggles for female, you need to head to the Diamond Casino store in the glasses section. So they are these aviators um, in the glasses section of the Diamond Casino. You will need to purchase chips in order to get these glasses, so keep that in mind. I'll run down the list here in the video, but it'll be easier if you just check the description or the pinned comment or the component list for what equals what. So for the black scuba suit goggles, you need the dot fade dime casino aviators. The orange fade tent equals white. The walnut diamond aviators equals blue. Horizon diamond equals red. Purple vine equals cyan. Herringbone equals lime. Gold tent equals orange. Magenta is yellow. Electric blue tent equals gray and orange. Blue argyle is pink pink backside. <laughs> Black rim tint is teal and white rim tint is green. So what you'll need to do is a component transfer glitch to get these on your female character and you will need to create the entire component outfit on the male character. So by that I mean if you're wanting to glitch together a hat or a mask with it, if you want to add gloves or other accessories, if you're wanting to add checkered items, Whatever you wanted the final end result outfit to look like, you need to put together on your male character. That means that if the item isn't on the component list or it doesn't have a component, then you can't, you can't do anything with that. You can't merge and then save this on the opposite character. And that's because this will not save if you try to change the outfit. So if you select the outfit through your closet or you try to change something in the clothing store after the transfer, it will remove the goggles. It doesn't mean that they're deleted from the outfit. It's just you can only select the outfit through your interaction menu to put it on in order to wear whatever you transferred over. So if you're curious about the components that I'm featuring in this video, the ones that we're testing, you can find those in the description, the full outfits that I'm going to show you here. And then you can also, of course, pause the video just to see the outfits at the end, um, like I used to show in my videos. So after completing a component transfer glitch, I'm back on my female, saving my current outfit. And then I'm going to show you the three outfits that we transferred over. First one has the yellow scuba goggles. The second one has the white scuba goggles. And then the third one has the lime scuba goggles. So as you can see, these are on the outfits. There's nothing to do here, you're good to go. But if you do try to click on the outfit from the closet, it removes the goggles. Doesn't mean it's deleted or it didn't save. Just go to your interaction menu, select that outfit again. And as you can see, it's saved on that outfit. It's perfectly fine. So keep that in mind. You need to even um, transfer parachutes um, if you're wanting to do or save a parachute on the outfit. So at, your outfit basically needs to be completed with every component on the male character or on the female character before transferring over. 
So I'll show you, we're gonna head to the clothing store so I can give you a couple of examples um, of what you can change on the outfit without saving it and how you can do that. But I also wanted to show you what happens in the clothing store as well if you just go into any of the sections of the clothing store. So I'm just gonna head to the accessory section, select a random thing, and you see the goggles come off again. If you reselect the goggles through your interaction menu or the outfit through your interaction menu, it's on there, it's saved. They don't fall off like the normal scuba tank usually does. Um, nothing is affected by this. You have a saved outfit, which is the goal. Um, again, same thing happens in the closet here from the clothing stores as well, but you can, depending on what you're trying to do with these outfits, if you're just a content creator um, and you're just trying to take really cool pictures of your outfit, you're wanting to post on Instagram or Twitter, um, you're not super concerned with if the outfit is saved forever, the end result is saved. There is one thing that you can do, or sorry, actually a couple of things that you can do to spruce this outfit up just for taking pictures. So I had actually posted a picture on Instagram of this yellow outfit that I did a couple of funny things to um, after the glitch. But like I mentioned, I wasn't able to save those items, so it wasn't a super big deal. So the first thing you can do is just make sure you've selected that outfit through your interaction menu so that you have your end result. We're going to exit out of the closet and select the green outfit. So I can show you examples of what you can actually change um, because you can't add <laughs> everything on the other outfits with checkered and a hoodie. But what you can do is you can change anything in the interaction menu. So you could hover through gloves if you're able to change those. Um, these won't stay, they'll glitch away as they, as they usually do anyways. You can hover through the cuffs or the watches, bracelets, necklaces, scarves. Um, you can add or remove an earpiece. You can also add or remove armor if your top allows it. And you can add or remove any parachute. So if you're just wanting to take a cool outfit picture or you're wanting to post something and say, look at my awesome outfit, you can kind of adjust these things if they didn't have a component um, from, you know, on the male character, on the female character that you are transferring over. Another kind of tip is because you can't save the outfit, you don't want to merge if you're making an outfit with these goggles, but you can merge. So again, if you're just creating an outfit to take a picture with and you wanted to have these goggles on that outfit, you can go into Crooked Cop. You can merge whatever you want it to merge. And then because you can access anything through your interaction menu when you're in Crooked Cop, you could change the gloves or you could change um, a cuff or add an, add an earpiece to that outfit and it wouldn't glitch the goggles away. And then when you exit out of Crooked Cop, you will still have you know the goggles with whatever you merged. But again, you won't be able to save that outfit. So it really just depends on what you wanna do with this here. I hope that you found this video useful and that it all makes sense and that you listened to me when I said a billion times, I think I count it 10 times, where I said you cannot make changes after you've transferred this outfit or it won't save, it'll glitch away. <laughs> so hopefully you got that down. It's just like checkered items or items with a bow tie, weird stuff like that. But thank you so much for stopping by the channel. I really appreciate it. Make sure you check out the updated component list. I've added about 500 items to each list over the last week or so. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for 44K subscribers. Please drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon with more glitch videos.